Shepherd School presents Conduit Domes Part 3. Okay, so we're starting at the top. This is the very top of the dome. Uh, we started from the top instead of from the bottom because we didn't have a ladder and it makes it a lot easier to build. Uh, I've heard you could do this by yourself if you start at the top, but I found that using my wife's help was, was invaluable. Um, so in the other videos, we told you that the short ones are white, the uh, long ones are black. We took five uh, white ended short poles and then we just bolted them there in the center using a, uh, a two and a half inch long um, five sixteenths bolt okay and then there in the ends we used the uh, the long poles and when we tightened them all up it made the uh, center poke out okay all right once you've got that portion done next thing you want to do is you want to take um, several black poles and you want to make a, a triangle. So um, there at, at each um, black pole from the first step, you want to attach two more. So you've got a triangle of, of black poles. And then in, this, in, in between those extra triangles, you have white poles coming out. So you've got uh, basically a black one, a white one, a black one, another black one, a white one, two black ones, a white one, two black ones, a white one, and, and you just bolt those in and bolt them in there pretty loose. Now, once those uh, triangles and the, and the single white bars are done, we're going to connect them all with more white bars. Okay, so uh, each triangle is going to get connected on either side to, to each short pole. Each short pole is going to get connected on either side to the triangles. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to tighten it up and it's going to start lifting. So this is where a partner really helps because you get a partner in there to lift up and you'll see that in just a second, it, it's going to allow you to, uh, to to bring the bars together. If you have to do it yourself, you've got to do a lot of lifting and bolting. We quickly found that the easiest way to do this was to attach the, uh, the white bars to each free white bar. Right? And I know that looks confusing. That's why we got a video. And then once that was done, then uh, I had my wife lift up on the, uh, the dome and then attach those uh, uh, you know base bars to the triangles and we just did that all the way around and uh, she lifted and I kind of pulled everything together and uh, um, this is where it started to get difficult but uh, as, as we put more in there we had to lift more and it got heavier so um, you know this seems a little difficult in the beginning but we find out that it's that it's a lot easier than some of the last pieces all right, we're starting to get in the home stretch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lay out everywhere the whites connect, we're going to put out two whites. Everywhere the blacks connect, we're going to put out two blacks. So, Okay, now what we have to do is uh, lift it up and put those, uh, you know, the two white ones together in the triangle and the two black ones together in the triangle. And this is starting to get more difficult because it's starting to lift up. And because we've got all the bolts loose, it's, it's very flexible. But if we didn't have the bolts loose, we wouldn't be able to, uh, to maneuver the, the conduit pipe around to actually bolt. So uh, you know, this, this takes a little bit of jury rigging, and uh, it's starting to get a little bit more difficult. But you know, if you've got a good helper, then uh, it goes pretty easy. OK, now what we're going to do is bolt uh, one black bar with one white bar to make a triangle, but then at the at the apex of each triangle, we're going to come in and, and take the last ten black long poles and make a base ring. And after messing with it for a second, what we found out that if we if we bolted um, every other triangle together and then put the base ring, uh, you know, one black coming off of each end of that, you know, alternating all the way around. Um, it was a lot easier to come back and then lift up on the dome and, and bring those bars together rather than starting at one end and just going all the way around in the loop. Okay? So, uh, you know, this is one where three people would have definitely made it much easier and had somebody lift on, uh, you know, both of those uh, uh, connector points, those five part connector points at a time. We found out that uh, this does take a little bit of strength. It does take a little bit of uh, just looking at what you're doing and kind of going slow. Yep. Okay, so here's 
ago. I'm six foot three, and I can't touch the center. That's one of the reasons why we tighten that one all the way up. These other ones I can reach to tighten, and that's what we've got left to do. Tighten them, and figure out how I'm going to make my door. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottom one out, undo all these, bend them out, and make a rectangular frame. I've got some extra poles. I ain't quite figured it out yet. That's why that'll be part, uh, what, three, four, five? I don't know. But uh, here we go. It wasn't really all that hard. Um, it was harder than necessary because we didn't pre-bend these to the 18 degrees angle that we were supposed to. Okay? So we tighten them up and then that will bend it to the correct angle. We'll figure out how to do the door, and then we'll disassemble it, take it down to the farm, and uh, put it back together, and uh, concrete it. So, I appreciate it.